Okay, a quick one for today. This is Jusant. You're this guy and you have to climb this thing, and the way you climb up this thing is a little bit different to what you might be used to. Instead of a simple one button, one direction paradigm, the way you climb up surfaces in Jusant is a little more involved. The left and right trigger kinesthetically acts as the protagonist's hands. Grip the left hand with the left trigger, right hand with the right. It's good, it's good for reasons that feel a little bit silly to explain, like this is an engaging mechanic, you can see that, right? There's push and pull here, you have to plan a route up whatever it is you're climbing. There's decision making too, you can place these little anchor things to stop your fall, but you only have so many and also you only have so much rope and also also there's a stamina bar that depletes with every leap you make. And yeah, it's pretty obvious why there's something to Jusant and its climbing when most other games reduce it down to a single input. But around halfway through playing, I noticed something. I thought about it for a few seconds and then made the realisation. Okay, let's break down what I'm actually doing when I'm climbing in Jusant. I hold the right trigger, then move, then hold the left trigger, then let go of the right trigger, then move, then hold the right trigger, then move, then hold the left trigger, and hang on, all I need to do is just mash the triggers while holding up. Oh no, that's not good, right? We're pretty much back to where we started. We've reduced the game while not entirely down to a single input, at least to a short series of them. It's been stripped of its intricacy, consigned to the depths of Assassin's Creed and 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 Assassin's Creed. I'm not I'm not recording Uncharted footage. Oh, let's hold back a bit. First of all, I'm kind of misrepresenting the game a little. Not every climbing surface is so simple that the grabby grabby technique, that's what I'm calling it, will get you to the end of the game. And this more importantly leads on to the second point, in that Jusant is essentially a masterclass in pacing. Think about it, you start out playing Jusant and you're like, what's this, more than one input? I'm not used to this kind of control scheme, what do I do? And so the game is front loaded with these rather simplistic cliff faces, and yet as you get to grips with the controls, as you master their grabby grabby technique, the game shifts gears and introduces more variety. Scorching heat, soaring winds, little rock bugs that move around. What's happening is that a thing in the game is being recontextualized as you play. Something that was previously giving you grief is now no match for your experience. Surfaces that require the grabby grabby technique go from a genuine obstacle to a rather refreshing palate cleanser in between the more serious stuff the latter stages of the game throws at you. This isn't exclusive to Jusant, of course. The most obvious example is probably factory building games like Dyson Sphere Program, which almost entirely operate on this kind of thing. Set a goal on the horizon for you to endeavour towards and then recontextualise it to be trivial by giving you more and more fun stuff to play with. Moving cargo across planet is no longer the annoyance it once was and now you have to move cargo across planets. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty cool game, check it out. But it can also apply to pretty much any video game that you like. Your relationship with the game is going to change from when you start and finish. The casual historical fantasy of Age of Empires 4 will suddenly give way to high octane competitive play. Persona 5 engrosses you in a fantastical world of shadows and palaces before enticing you to squeeze every drop of optimization you can out of every passing day. Even something like the recent horror hit, Lethal Company, morphs into a more tactical, measured experience when its opaque nature becomes more knowable. And then you have the other end, games that make poor use of their runtime. I've enjoyed dozens of games for dozens of hours primarily because of the variety it throws at me. No run of Slay the Spire is the same, every case in Ace Attorney always offers something new, and yet Amiga 8 hours of Far Cry 6 and I've already had my fill. There's nothing that the game is doing to keep me playing, it's a plateau of pacing. Wait, is it plateau or plateau? It's a plateau of pacing. So the next time you're playing a video game, my condolences, and you go, ah, oh, this game sucks, it's too long, take a moment to think if that's what it actually is. It could be that the game is not too long, it's just making poor use of its runtime. It could be that it's just not as well paced as Jusant. Hey there, quick outro, thank you for watching. Really, really sorry there haven't been any videos lately. I've been caught in the classic uh, having no motivation into having COVID into uh, having to move house a combo it happens to the best of us. I've made this short video to kind of get back into the swing of things. Anyway, I hope you're doing well. I wish you all the best uh, this Christmas, and I hope to see you in 2024, where I would guess I will make more of these videos, um, you know, until I die or, or get bored, uh, whatever comes first. Anyway, take care.